Hi everyone, I'm Kim Wagner and I'm an IT network engineer at First Energy, which is an electric company. And for my job, I help to design and implement and maintain private networks. Think about the internet and how so many devices around the world are able to be connected through that. Take that internet and shrink it down. Imagine something that's smaller and more private that only certain people or locations are able to use. And the term for that is an intranet. And that's what many companies use to interconnect their employees in different offices. And they're using that private network to load applications that they need to use for their job, or maybe they're using it to send emails or send chats to other employees. But what's really cool about working for an electric company is that in addition to corporate offices, we also support substations. And substations have devices that help support the electric grid. And that's where things start to get really interesting because the electric grid obviously is a very critical infrastructure. So we have to make sure that the network there is reliable, secure, and also in compliance with government regulations. Some of my favorite things about my job are that I get to fix things and troubleshoot quite often, um, which is fun because I like solving puzzles. And I also like that I get to make things more efficient and find uh, ways to improve our processes. It's really hard to predict what each day will be like. Um, there's always something new happening. And since I help to uh, make sure that the network is functioning the way it should, um, obviously there's days when that doesn't always happen. I might be planning to do a network upgrade, but something might break and I'll spend that day troubleshooting that problem. So back in high school, I didn't quite know what I wanted to do for my career yet. I knew that I was interested in working with computers, but I didn't quite know what. And I found out that for 11th and 12th grade, there was an opportunity to go to a career and technology center. And I ended up doing that. So I would actually take a bus every day in the afternoon um, to go take network technology classes at another school. Down the road, when I was having an interview for an internship, the company was actually really impressed that I went to a vocational school and college. That really helped me stand out to them and it showed I was dedicated to learning new things. So when it was time to go to college, at first I thought maybe I wanted to be a computer programmer and do computer science. But the more I learned about that, I realized that it was a little bit too heavy in math and not quite what I was looking for. So I ended up majoring in information science and technology, which is like a really general IT field. Um, you could do networking, like what I do now. You could do uh, a little bit of programming. You could do databases. There's just so many different jobs out there. I actually got my first internship the summer after my freshman year. So I went to a career fair that my college was having and they had booths there with uh, representatives from different local companies. And that's actually how I found out about First Energy. I ended up being interviewed by them for the internship and to my surprise, I got it. <laughs> so even if you feel like you don't have a lot of knowledge yet about a topic, you can still try to apply yourself. There's so much you can learn just by working on the job. My main recommendations to you would be to consider all of your options, go after whatever interests you and what really inspires you. Try not to be afraid of failure, just keep pushing forward and give everything your all and just be yourself, be sincere.